Welcome to Average Joe's Gym's Home Projects, where we do projects and maintenance at home that even an average Joe can accomplish. This old Whirlpool refrigerator has been an absolute workhorse for us. We got it when we got married about 15 years ago, and man, this thing's been great. But this ice maker has started causing us trouble. We're gonna go ahead and replace it since I'm unable to fix the part that broke should be a fun little project with just the removal of a couple bolts and a complete change out. Let's do it. Alright, so I ended up ordering an entire ice machine change out. I got it on Amazon. As usual, Amazon affiliate links are in the description. This thing came packaged securely. Man, that thing was not moving. I had to remove some staples from the inside just to get the thing out. Now you'll notice here that there's no end cap on this ice machine. I discovered pretty quickly there's a couple of parts I'm gonna have to switch out from the old ice machine onto this new one. No big deal. Should still attach the same way with the same wiring harness that's already in the freezer. Just make sure you order the right ice machine for the model of freezer that you have. Now it's time to get to the tools. Now I thought I was going to be able to use this power drill that I've used on a number of other projects, um, but it didn't exactly work out the way I hoped. I was just going to use this uh, nut driver bit inside this long attachment onto the drill, but you'll see here that I'm having a few issues. First things first, let's get the ice tray out of there. You should just be able to lift up and slide it out. They designed them that way so you can get them out and dump huge amounts of ice into your ice chest. Let's try a different camera angle here too, so hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing in here. Oh yeah, one of the great perils of starting a home project is this. Hey, what? Max away. Gotta love it yeah. when your husky runs out your garage and runs around the neighborhood right when you're starting a project. All right, with the retrieval of the husky back in the yard, it's time to get back to this thing. I got a decent camera angle here with my phone inside the freezer, but the problem is that drill, it still just doesn't fit very well inside. And I can't get my head in there very well to see if I'm even on the bolt. Enter Nest Thermostat screwdriver that came in the box. As a home project hoarder, I actually hold on to all these old weird screwdrivers and different tools that come with various appliances and devices. Turns out if you remove the bit, that hole right there fits the ends of the nuts exactly. You can accomplish the same thing with a nut driver set, which I don't have, which is really surprising. So once you get the end of the nut driver or the thermostat screwdriver on there, you can actually feel it go onto the bolt. Then just a couple quick turns to loosen it and you'll be able to get this ice machine off the wall. Or at least I thought I was going to. The funny part about it is I got so consumed by the whole nut driver problem that I forgot that there is a bracket underneath the ice maker also. You're gonna have to remove that bolt right there to get the bracket off to finally remove this thing. Yeah, my family likes ice cream. Anyway, uh, on the back side of this, once you get it off the wall, you're gonna have to unplug the wires that are plugged in. You remove the cap and then you'll see right here there is sort of a button that you need to press with a screwdriver in order to pull the plug out. I got it off pretty easily and now I've got it all laid out on the counter. Here's the old ice maker. I'm going to show you here where the culprit was of the problem I was having. This plastic guide here, the clip broke that slides into that notch there. And the problem is, is as the ice would kick out, it would get caught in there, which would then block the rotating arms from getting the next bit of ice out. So it wasn't going to work for me anymore. I tried to epoxy it. It didn't work. So this is my solution. You remove the new harness that they give you because in my freezer, I didn't have a plug in the wall. The wires actually go into the freezer right there through the wall. And I didn't want to mess with that. So luckily it, it all fits once you get it all in there. Yes, the cap's going to fit on there. 
just pop it on not really that hard or complicated the other part you have to pilfer from your old ice maker is the swing arm it's a pretty simple little pop it off and switch it over but one thing I discovered while I was handling this new ice maker is it's got a film of like grease on it which kind of grossed me out because once this thing starts making ice I didn't want grease floating around in my water so I wiped it down with some soapy water on a paper towel and then um, wiped it down again with a clean paper towel and dried it and got as much of it out as I could. Even afterwards, I let the ice maker run for a while after I fixed it and installed it and then threw out all the original ice until I felt comfortable that the ice I was getting was clean. The swing arm's a pretty simple install. You just press it in until it clicks and then on the other side hook it in the hole. This thing is pretty important. Without it, your ice maker is pretty much worthless. It could run and just fill your entire freezer with ice if you do remove it and leave it in the on position. All right, here's the wiring harness that comes out of the wall of my freezer. That's why I couldn't use the harness that came with my new ice maker. There's nowhere to unplug it and plug in the new harness. It just goes through the wall. That white part on the wire here that you can see, I believe that's a temperature sensor, but I'm not 100% sure, I didn't design the thing. So you're just gonna put the new ice maker in there, set it all up, see the sensor right there, and you're just gonna slide it in until it pops in there. Okay, as you can see, I had removed the bolts completely from the wall. If you can, just loosen them enough to get the old ice machine off and leave them in there because that way when you put, go to put the new one in there, you can put it right on the bolts and hang it. It's designed for that. However, I kind of messed that up by removing them and I mounted the bottom bracket first. I hate when that happens. When you get the bolt up there and then it falls down out of the screwdriver. Just be careful when you get it up there so you don't get as frustrated as I did put one in at a time I suggest you put the front one in first because that way it kind of holds it steady for the second one okay now that you got it in there just be patient let it do its thing walk away from it close this door so that it gets colder in that little space there and lets the ice freeze faster now walk away and give it some time don't sit there and watch it the whole time, hoping that you're going to hear the ice start working. These things work slow. Turns out this thing was working like a champ. I even put the flap back on there that came with the fridge, which I think it just helps the ice kind of guide down into the basin. So here it is, a successful ice maker switch out on our workhorse Whirlpool refrigerator that we've had for 15 years. If you enjoyed this project, please check out our other projects on Average Joe's Gym's own projects. And please like and subscribe for future projects.